It happened in Valley Station. Tonight, LMPD is releasing the dramatic body camera video as they catch up to the stranger accused of taking a six-year-old. WHS 11 night teams Tyler Emery is live right now. And Tyler, how long did it take uh, for police to catch up to this man? Well, Doug, police say it was luckily only 30 minutes, all thanks to the quick actions of some LMP officers and neighbors who saw exactly what happened and knew they just had to get involved. Open the passenger door! With weapons drawn, police Driver zero passenger. in on a man who they were told kidnapped a six-year-old girl back, in Valley buddy. Station. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Then the rescue. <laughs> It's okay. That's, That's a Metro it's police okay. officer talking to a six year old girl finally reunited with family after officers tracked down the car she was taken in. Oh Body camera footage shows LMPD officer Jason Burba finding the girl inside the passenger side of the car. Stay right there. As LMPD Sergeant Joe Keeling arrests the man charged with kidnapping a minor. An arrest citation says she was uninjured. And grabbed her by the collar slung her around and threw the bike. So, I mean, it was, for a six year old, that's pretty bad. Prentice Weatherford you know. says he saw it all happen while he was standing outside of his home on Haney Way in Valley Station. The girl, police say, was riding her bike playing outside. So, I saw it happen. I yelled at my dad to grab the car keys. We hopped in the car. Going into fight or flight mode, he says, immediately with a gut feeling it was a kidnapping. Okay, you just don't grab a little kid like that and throw him in your car. He chased the man in his car for several blocks. And then, thanks to a quick 911 call, response and a partial ID of the license plate, police located the car within half an hour, stopping it on Grafton Hall Road. There, police arrested this man, 40-year-old Robbie Will. Stay on the ground. The arrest citation says he told police while the girl cried in his car, he tried to console her before knowing what he was doing was wrong. He says he was afraid he'd hurt her and was driving her back to the place he took her from. I never thought that would be you know, a witness or something like that. Glad Weatherford says he and officers were able to help bring the girl home safely. As soon as they opened that passenger door and she was in the car, I just, you know, joyful. It's okay. LMPD tells me this is a rare situation. More commonly, they say they see custodial issues as kidnappings rather than a stranger kidnapping. In a statement tonight, LMPD wrote to me, although we do not want the community to be alarmed, this is certainly an educational opportunity for parents to remind their children that stranger danger is real. Doug. Uh, Tyler, that, that video, when she calls for her daddy, I tell you, it sends chills right up your spine there. You know, this guy is in jail. Has he been in front of a judge yet? Doug, he has. He appeared actually on Saturday morning where he pleaded not guilty to a charge of kidnapping a minor, but the judge set his bond at $1 million. Doug. Okay, Tyler, live tonight outside police headquarters. Thank you.